Hi, my name is Henrik Wetter and um, I'm trying to build a robot, actually a grass cutting robot at the end, but it's a long journey until I'm there. Uh, my goal is to build it with um, as low cost as possible, so I will reuse materials from old scrap cars and so on. And the first step today was to unscrew two wind shield wipers from uh, my two one of uh, two of my old scrap cars, actually a Volkswagen Polo and a Volkswagen Jetta, and uh, it's about the same year, late 80s. So I think they will work pretty much the same. At least they look uh, very much alike. So, um, and today. I have just connected one of the engines to try to see if I can control it in a proper way with my Arduino Uno. Uh, uh, and by controlling I mean actually going forth and back and stop the engine. So I use a four card relay, a four relay card uh, designed for the Arduino actually which I have connected the plus and minus to relay number 1 and 4 of the card plus and minus of the wind cheaper engine that is and then uh, the no normally open and closed of each relay is connected either to minus or plus and this will pretty much be like a boolean true false table because you have either plus minus minus plus minus minus or plus plus and uh, minus plus will turn the engine clockwise and plus minus will turn it anti-clockwise and the rest minus minus and plus plus will cause the engine to stop and there is no risk of mixing minus and plus of the power source uh, which is uh, actually a car battery not surprising so um, this is pretty much it. I made a small Arduino program which says the engine to turn um, in one direction then turn in another direction and then stop. And that will be ongoing so on and on. The normal, as I set it up right now, the normal connection would be um, to run clockwise or perhaps anti-clockwise I don't remember uh, anyway run so I had to add a manual button here to not having it run all the time so when I turn this button on it will start running probably anti-clockwise and um, this will it's not a good case of course the normal yeah state would be that it's stopped but that's just cosmetic, I guess. So, well, I, I will start it now. And the engine starts to run anti-clockwise, as I said. And it will be doing so forever until the battery runs out. If I do not connect the power source of the Arduino itself. And it has nothing to do with the computer. It's just that the Arduino, the program is already uploaded and uh, ready. So what I need now is uh, a power source for the Arduino. And it will immediately start work. And there we saw the program started with a uh, clockwise turn. And now it will probably start running anti-clockwise for 10 seconds each. So every state is 10 seconds, so in a few seconds it will stop for 10 seconds. And yes, it did. And now in a few seconds it will start running clockwise again for 10 seconds. And there will be a turn. And it will stop. And this will be going on and on uh, since the program is just a dummy, <laughs> uh, small program. So, but it will. It shows that we can control the engine's turns, and we can stop the engine. 
Uh, one thing I thought is, as you can see right now, when the turn is made backwards, the engine flips over because there is no whatsoever co speed control. So all the uh, movements are very sudden. When the engine starts, in a few seconds, it will immediately start. And the turn is very, um, yeah, gravity is showing uh, the problems when you do a sudden turn here. So, of course the engine is not mounted, but still there might be necessary to have some sort of uh, uh, reduction in speed when doing the, the actual change. Uh, I'm not sure I've mentioned it, but it's only one engine connected this time, but my aim is to have two engines and uh, going on forward or backwards or turning by having either one engine run and the other one running in the opposite direction or just be stopped. Um, so that's I think that's a common uh, approach for uh, grass cutting robots. Two wheels. So I will turn this off now and uh, I have the manual button and I take the Arduino power source off, which will stop the signals to be sent. So, my next step will be to um, trying to control the engine with some sort of sensor, probably an IR sensor, since I have uh, already bought one and tried it out. So maybe we can have the engine turn in different directions depending on the distance uh, and maybe if you come too close it will stop. That will be the next step and I'll come back to you and let you know how how it works out. And in order to achieve this you first of all your wife must be out of the weekend gone far away and then you must have of course have a, a lot of uh, equipment to scrap your cars uh, not at least, uh, which you can get those um, uh, engines from. And you need a fabulous outside environment where you can um, experiment. And you will probably also need some tools. And uh, a couple of hundred of meters of cable. Uh, hmm, a packet of tomatoes apparently and uh, a couple of beers. I think that's pretty much it.